Hey there, welcome to another episode of Mondane Designs. I'm your host Mondane, this video is part of my Infinite Games Core series, and today we're going to be talking about Uncharted The Lost Legacy. Even before I popped in the disc for Uncharted Lost Legacy, I wondered how the series could continue without Nathan Drake. My attachment to Drake had been carefully cultivated over the course of five games, so the prospect of leaving him out of an Uncharted game seemed wrong. The opening scene sets the tone of the game and shows us how different Chloe is from Drake. And you know what? That's not a bad thing. She has her own style and flair. Now, the game is tasked with convincing the players to personally invest in Chloe Frazier, our new hero. Lost Legacy hallmarks all of what we come to expect in an Uncharted game. Great combat, team-ups, stealth, action, climbing, driving, puzzles, and the classic player bait, curiosity that drives discovery. The Uncharted 4 engine is here in all of its glory. This, along with the love of the Uncharted world, helps the player make the transition to the new cast. The dynamic between the two characters reminds me of previous games where Chloe is cracking jokes, much like Drake, and Nadine is a no-nonsense, seasoned hard case, much like Victor Sullivan. Nadine is a useful and welcome partner in the series, and she's not afraid to get her hands dirty. The banter between the two fills the silent moments beautifully while traversing the jaw-dropping environment. The plot feels like riding a roller coaster blindfolded, where every drop, turn, and loop is an exhilarating surprise. Trust me gamers, if you love the world of Uncharted like I think you do, this is a title you don't want to miss. Now let's get to that unlimited game score. Like every game on the planet, it starts with a score of 3 because people put the passion into bringing this game to life. It is also physical and digital, so it gains a point there. The immersion is definitely what I expected, so it gains two points. The first gimmick that I experienced in this game was the lockpicking, pretty much the only gimmick. And I liked it, so it gains two points. Voice actors in English. Um, Claudia Black is a great voice actress, and I think she definitely... Uh, brings something to the character so she, it gets two points game length definitely what i expected two points the story was much much more than i expected um, it definitely exceeded my expectations so it gains three points um level design uh without giving too much away it is very beautiful but Nothing that blew me completely away, so only two points. Complete experience. Yeah, this game definitely gave me a complete experience, so it gains two points. Sense of progression. Yeah, two points. Uh, uh, it's definitely what I expected. Fairness, punishing, and RNG. Uh, this game was fairly was was pretty fair with me. Um, I didn't feel too much of a of any kind of um, difficulty spikes that that kind of disjointed me or pulled me out of the action or the story of the game. So it gains two points. Uh, the technical difficulties. Um, you know, I actually ran into some technical difficulties. The, the load times were pretty bad in this game. And I, at one point in time, I had a corrupted install of the game. So it loses a point. Um, Game value to MSRP cost. Uh, this game was $59.99 out the gate, so uh, two points. This is definitely an experience that I would pay $59.99 for. Um, it does have multiplayer online, although I'm not much of a uh, of a multiplayer online person. It, it does have it, it's present, um, and it looks fairly balanced, so it gains a point there. 
uh, choice and consequences. Uh, guns and ammo, and then stealth versus run and gun. So it, it had some good choices and consequences. So you had to pick the right guns, and some of those guns had little ammo and whatnot. So it gains two points there. Soundtrack gained two points. Because, uh, I mean, it's just what I expected. The visuals were a little bit more than what I was expecting. Uh, this game is very beautiful, um, so uh, it gains three points. Difficulty, uh, two points. Gameplay and combat, two points. Uh, controls, two points. Replay value, uh, zero. Um, uh, I know that like I've had replay value mentioned in some of the other games. At a one or so, it's just I don't I don't see any replay value in this game. Uh, camera two points. They actually started improving the camera a little bit more. Uh, unlockables and rewards two points, and then sense of accomplishment two points. Um, guys, don't be put off by the fact that Nathan Drake is not the main character of this game. It is uh, it is definitely worth your time, and I think there are places where like as of this recording, you can pick up that game for under 10 bucks so you know spend some time explore a little bit more into the uncharted universe and have some fun and with all of that uncharted lost legacy gets a score of 44 points well that's it for this episode of mundane designs i'm your host mundane I hope you enjoyed this episode as much as I enjoyed making it. I have videos on the 1st and 15th of every month and look forward to sharing them with you. As always, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a wonderful day.